Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and today I'm going to do a review. So Wacom has sent me their latest Wacom One, which is their entry-level uh, pen display. Uh, this is the Pen Display Touch 13. Here it is right here. Here it is in the box. Uh, the Wacom One Pen Display 13 Touch. So um, I've got their, their earlier version, and I loved it. And I actually use that uh, when I do my traveling and I do my lectures. It's become my go-to uh, Cintiq when I go on the road. And so um, this is their next generation. This one, as we're using it, as we're pulling it out, uh, this one's going to be about four, I think it's $499.95, 500 bucks uh, US. And once again, this is the, the big one. This is their biggest of their entry level pen displays. So this is the Wacom One Pen Display 13 Touch. That's key. The touch uh, pushes up the price a little bit. But uh, I want to go ahead and un unbox it and just uh, show you guys kind of the, the ease that you have in hooking it up. And um, I'm just a big fan of Wacom products. I've been using them for oh, about 20 years now. And uh, I really love the durability, the performance, everything else. And every year they come out with something new and I, and I love to test them out. So here we go. So let's open this up and uh, see what we got. So here we have three different configurations. This is the other thing I want to mention. Um, past generations of Cintiqs and, and pen displays, um, they send all the different cords with them. Well, everybody has different cords, whether it's USB, USB-C, uh, all kinds of stuff. And so now, um, because everyone's hookups are different, they're starting to sell all of their cables separately. So I want to mention that specifically. Their pens... Uh, styluses are being sold separately. Uh, the power adapter and the cables are all being sold separately. So when you order your Wacom One, it's just going to be the pen display. So when I open this up, you'll see that's all that's in here. And we'll see three different configurations. So we have um, USB-C to USB-C, just that, where you run power through it and you also hook it up to your computer monitor. Remember, this is just a display and a and, uh, uh, tablet. So you have to have a computer hooked up to it. Um, we also have a USB-C to USB-C and the power. And then finally, we have USB-C to HDMI and USB-A and also uh, the power adapter. So there's three different configurations there, three different setups you can get. And I've got samples of each and I'll show them to you as we unbox. But there you go. So these are your three configurations. Figure out what you've got as far as a computer, and then you can order your uh, cords or your power cords, uh, uh, your cables accordingly. So let's open up. We got here, we got our uh, directions here. It's very neat. Obviously, they're, they're always, their packaging is always really great. I'm going to put this off to the side, and it's always super sleek. So here it is. That's that's our and that's a that's a decent sized screen. I like that. Uh, it's actually thirteen. They say it's a thirteen, but it's thirteen point three diagonal. So it's a little bigger than thirteen. But there it is. It doesn't come with a stand, so you can get the stand separately, which I have, and I've got the prices for everything uh, marked down. So let's put this aside. And uh, so there's our pen display. We got to pull out a couple of other things before we can hook it up. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab, let's see here, what do we got? Here we've got the Wacom One stand. This is $45, okay? I don't know that you need to, uh, I think there's other ways of, of uh, if, you, if you like to work with your, your uh, Wacom you know, at, an, at an angle, I think there's other ways of doing it for less than $45. But I do know these are built very well. And what you have here is a little half moon, and this turns, okay? So you just basically set that up there. And we've got the other one here. It's, you can tell it's, it's hefty and it's very well built. And we got that there. So what we've got is you just set them up here, and there you go, okay? Let me pull that. Let me make sure. Oh, let me pull it up here. There we go. So that's a decent angle. I like that. Uh, but you can, I mean, I know a lot of people like to work on their laps and, and uh, 
whatever. I, I personally like to work with my screen almost vertical. I like it at about a 75 to 80 degree angle. <clears throat> um, when I'm working small like this, which isn't very often, this is a pretty decent angle. I like this. Uh, so there you go. I like that angle. Uh, once again, 45 bucks is a little hefty for the little stand, but um, it's well built the, and, and it's, it's really sleek. It goes, it really matches the, uh, the, the pen display itself. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, are there other cheaper options? There probably are to tilt your, your screen up. So take that with a grain of salt. But I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, next thing we want to do, let's go ahead and grab our cable and we'll just go ahead and hook it up. Okay, so here is our USB-C to USB-C. My computer uh, is a USB-C uh, hookup. And so that's our C to C cable. This is $15, $14.95. And uh, let's see here, where am I? Let's pull this open right here. There we are. That's a nice meaty cable. So this is going to provide power as well. All right, so let's go ahead and hook this in. Here I am over here. Now, for those of you that are right-handed, which is most of you, this is going to be perfect. They've got the, uh, the mount on the right side, um, on the left side, I'm sorry, which will hook into your computer over on the left side. Um, I'm left-handed, so this, this cable has got to come over here. Hook in just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. So we have a switch over on the right, and I'm just going to touch that, and boom, we've got power. This cable is kind of knocking my stand around a little bit. So there we go. I'm all automatically uh, uh, set up. It's I've hooked up to my computer. Right now, it's set up as an extra um, uh, 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 display. I want to set it up to mirror. So I'm going to jump over to my computer and do that. All right, so I am hooked up to my computer. I've got everything mirrored. I mean, this literally took me 30 seconds to hook up. So this is super cool, super convenient. This is the most convenient uh, I've, I've seen uh, yet. So I really, really, I love the idea that it's one cable. You get power, you get uh, the video, you get everything. So, um, but I can't do anything until I have a stylus. So let's open up my, uh, my stylus. Okay, so here is my pen which uh, runs for $20 and the pen case, which is $10. It's basically the case goes around the end. So let's open this up. And we got this for the nibs. We got nibs in here, extra nibs if we need them. Right now I like what's on there now, so I'm just gonna go with that. But you'll see that the end, it doesn't have a, uh, an end on it yet. So I need to get that. I'm going to put this in the box. And then here's our case. And it's a champagne colored metal piece that I really dig. And you just screw it right on and boom, you've got a great stylus. All right. So let's uh, put all this away. And then just like the other Wacom ones, you've got a, a fabric piece up here, which is your sleeve to go ahead and put your uh, stylus in right there. So you can, you got that. Now, this is really important. Don't forget to install your driver. Um, you've got to put in the Wacom One 13 Touch driver. And uh, so I've done that. So right now I've got the touch turned off because I tend to, uh, I, I just don't use it uh, as often. And so I've, I've got it turned off. I'm just going to... Uh, uh, I just want to dive in and start drawing. So um, let's just jump in and try out my little, my little snow bear, my polar bear that I'm creating. My new animated short snow bear. Man, this oh the 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 uh, this is silky smooth, super sensitive. You can adjust the sensitivity as well in your uh, computer settings, obviously. I'm gonna knock that brush size down just a little bit. So I like, you know, working with my laptop right next to me and work over, reach over and just hit all the hot keys. 
But yeah, this is uh, super nice. It's got a nice silky kind of feel. And, you know, what I'm really impressed with is just having this ability right out of the box, one cable, hook it up to your computer, install your driver, and boom, you're working. Yeah, I love the feel of this. And once again, I'm a diehard Wacom fan. Every time I test a new product, I'm always happy with it. And the other thing too, just to reiterate, um, the Wacom One has be become my on the road Cintiq. So whenever I, you know, when we head over to Europe and we give lectures over there, or when I'm on the road here in the States and we're, we're doing talks, I bring my Wacom One with me and, uh, and it's a great substitute. Uh, at home, I'm using the big Cintiq Pro 32. But, um, you know, I don't mind jumping down to the, the 13 inch. Uh, I don't know that I would go much smaller than this, but um, it's, a, you know, it's big enough that, uh, you know, I can, I can draw with it, even with my old eyes. I love this. I love the feel of it. It feels really good. Yeah, this is great. So the Wacom One 13 inch touch. Uh, it's great. Let's turn on the touch just to experiment with it a little bit and just see how. See, I don't do a lot of pinch and, you know, I just don't use the touch that much. But, uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to turn that back off. Yep. This is, uh, I dig it. I think you guys will dig it. 500 bucks, this is a pretty good price for this kind of performance and this size. Uh, you can't ask for much better than that. And uh, like I said, I've always had great service with them, great performance. I've been using Wacom for 20 years, and uh, I just love them. And, uh, you know, Penn's really, really responsive. Very nice. So there it is. That's the Wacom One 13-inch Touch. Uh, I give it a two thumbs up. I really, really love it, and I think you would like it too. Um, I recommend it, and I, I think it's great. The, you know, the guys over at Wacom have done it again, and uh, I want to thank them for sending this to me and uh, letting me test it out. Um, I think it's a great, it's a great pen display. Yeah. So, like I said, this thing's awesome. Uh, and one thing else I wanted to show you guys is um, this really nifty carrying case that I got with it. This uh, this retails for thirty five bucks, and uh, we've got an opening in there. You've also got a pocket right here that opens up for your cables. So I'm gonna just go ahead and unhook everything right here. Get my cable all wound up. Get my cable all wound up, and we'll get that in here. Boom. Cable goes in. Fits perfect right in the top there. We got our stands right there. They're going to go right in the pocket with the cable. And boom. Nifty. We're good to go. So, uh... Check it out. Go on over to Wacom.com and check out all their products, including the Wacom One 13-inch pen display touch. This thing is awesome. Like I said, I'm taking this thing on the road. I love it. So go on out there, put some beauty back in the world, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.